hunting this weekend and we found some real gems. Yes, and with a little TLC from you and me and milk paint, we're gonna tie all this stuff together. So we picked up our desk at a yard sale and we got it for 15 bucks. And I think that's a real still, especially considering these amazing handles that we're going to be repurposing. And for $8, we found this chair, which kind of matches the desk with some carvings up here and this seat that we're gonna reupholster it because you can, look at that. You can see the dust dirty. coming out of it. So we'll do that using the milk paint also and uh, I think they're gonna look great together. Hi, I'm Kathy. And that's Steve. And together, we like to flip furniture. On today's Furniture Flip, we are turning this desk and accessories into a matching vintage home office. Our colors are inspired by 1950s across America. Think vintage ice cream parlor signs and beauty salons, and of course, those kitchens. Hey, and let's not forget about the 1950s hot rods. <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty cool car colors. Yeah. You ready to flip it? Let's flip. Hey everybody, it's time to flip this desk and I'm using the new Folk Art Milk Paint. I'm gonna talk about the milk paint a little bit later, but first I wanna to talk to you about surfaces. Milk paint works great on raw wood and Kathy has some projects she's working on inside that she's gonna show you a little bit later. Here's the cool news. With the bonding primer and sealer, you can now use milk paint on previously painted and varnished furniture. Now there's no limitations with milk paint. It's pretty cool. Prep your furniture. Give it a light sand if needed and wipe down with glass cleaner. Okay, so this desk is ready to be primed. And to apply my primer, I am using a Folk Art Milk Paint Brush. It's a 100% natural bristle. The bristles are filbert shapes, so they're rounded edges. So they reduce hard edges and brush marks. Before working with the new brush, I like to run my fingers through it to remove any of those loose bristles. I also like to use one of Kathy's combs. This works really well too. Uh, she finds out she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Pour the bonding primer and sealer into a work bowl. Dip the brush and wipe the bristles along the inside of the bowl to remove the excess. Apply with the grain. The primer will dry to a clear, flat finish. Now that all the priming is done, I have to wait four hours to let that dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna reupholster the seat cushion. Now, let's go see what Kathy's doing. All of our home office accessories are raw wood, so I'm just going to apply the milk paint directly to the wood. I won't be using the bonding primer and sealer. It's not needed on raw wood. I will be using the finishing oil to give it a velvety smooth look at the end. For my United States, I'm going to be using all different colors for each slat. I'm only going to paint one coat because I want to keep that rustic look shining through. The finishing oil is non-toxic and it will absorb into the raw wood. You can apply the oil with a brush or saturate a cotton lint-free cloth with the oil. Rub the oil into the wood and wipe off any excess. While it's wet, sand with fine sandpaper. The finishing oil is great for decorative items, but things like tabletops should be sealed with the bonding primer and sealer. We used a Mod Melt heart to customize our USA sign. For the memo board, I'm gonna use the Veranda Blue Milk Paint. I'm gonna do several coats with sanding in between because I want that thick, rich velvet look. Mm -hmm. 
We finished off the memo board with some mod melt gems and some tiny clothespins. For our Be Inspired sign, we were inspired by our paint color, pink dogwood. To match that color, we're gonna create some nature embellishments with the mod mold. Folk Art Milk Paint is casein based. It is conveniently pre-mixed and will not spoil. It's durable and has a dead flat sheen. Casein is a milk protein. Casein paint has been used since the ancient times. The new Folk Art Milk Paint is lime free and non-toxic. Now that the primer is dry, time for the exciting part. To paint our desk with Monument Gray Milk Paint. Load the brush the same way as the primer. Use long, smooth brush strokes and try to paint with the grain. Be careful not to let the paint pool or drip on the surface. Allow to dry one hour. Then lightly sand using a fine grit sandpaper. Wipe clean and add another coat. Repeat until you have your desired depth of color. I'm painting the details with Petticoat Milk Paint. I'm distressing with a light sand and damp cloth. Now that we've achieved the look that we're going for, we're going to seal the desk with the Bonding Primer and Sealer Milk Paint. Top coat with the Bonding Primer and Sealer. It will dry clear and flat. Use two thin coats. Furniture pieces should be sealed. Ah. Uh. Looks awesome. High five on the new furniture flip. It looks beautiful. I really love how the distressing turned out. And I gotta admit, at first yeah. I was like, I don't know. I yeah. liked it all gray. Yeah. I was on the fence, but right. I think it looks amazing. No, I think it looks really cool. I think it just kind of ages it down enough to where it maybe it actually pops the gray out mm -hmm. a little bit more. Yeah. And I love that we were able to still use those handles. And what about the yellow that you picked for the chair? That's what I was on the fence about. It's looks very, very pretty, <laughs> like my hair that I'm combing. Uh, thank you for joining us and I'll see you next time, <laughs> bye. Steve was quite a stinker using my comb, but that was a really good tip. If you want more tips and tricks for flipping your furniture, be sure to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time.